Welcome back everyone with a new RimWorld Sea Ice Adventure. Today is gonna be all about surviving sea ice with rich explorer scenario. To add as well the difficulty is set to losing is fun default settings. With that all out of the way we can begin this long journey we are going to embark with Emily Snow the first colonist. Once Snow leaves her pod it's time to set up the basics of our base. Seeing I'm going to need all the raw metal I can get, the main core walls are gonna be silver we have on hand. This stuff is useless when very few traders pass sea ice. We are on the clock here to build out the small hut due to Snow's gear not able to handle extreme cold temperatures. Just look at her health tab already getting hypothermia. After some time Snow has finished the basic layout leaving me to build the last wooden door. Next up have her make a campfire to generate quick warmth. Now looking back at this it was a waste of wood due to me being able to build an electric heater. Anyways after that the really important part of making a wind turbine to make free power is set up. Can't really rely on my low wood source to generate heat. An hour later snow works on the last touches on our new heater. With that all done we now have the basic starter home to build out the future base. Now that everything is done the long journey of just researching is about to begin due to the fact in sea ice I have to wait for random events to happen for me to progress. We start with learning battery tech need those trusty Duracell batteries to store energy. Having nothing else to do it's a good time to hunt the local wildlife for that delicious meat. Even though Snow has decent shooting skill she really can't land a single hit on these rabbits. Now that she landed one shot it's best to let the damn thing bleed instead of running around wasting my time. Well you guys knew this was gonna happen but can't be having two mouths to feed so this dog's gotta go. In these harsh snowy world we live and it's all about doing whatever we can to survive. Our morning begins with chopping up these dead animals for their delectable meat. Well seems Randy doesn't like what I'm doing since a random fire breaks out. Coincidence I think not. I see Snow is having a tough time reading so I make her construct a wall lamp. Can't be living in the stone ages when we have the technology. In order to just not being doing the same thing I mix it up with a family friendly ritual of gaining neighbor reputation points. While Snow is learning her daily cult novels our power is cut off thanks to a solar flare. Now she will never know how to become a holy cultist. This is it battery research is done took here a while but that just due to low research level. Next up hydroponics to cultivate vegetables in these harsh winters. Randy next sends me the first raid on this world. These raiders seem to be called the spider's strange name for a raider group seeing this world is a frozen wasteland. Our first victim today is Mr. Wong wielding a stone club not much of a threat really. But this gonna take a while since snow has to kite them for zero damage battle. I will speed up the battle a bit to make things go faster. Our first battle royal victory not much loot but our victim we soon become our lunch. After some days pass we get some random camels wander into our base. Talk about good timing I can kill these camels for free meat and leather. Now that I'm going to have raw meat to store we make a brand new meat freezer room so things don't just rot away like they have with my rabbit meat. To test out the new meat locker we cut up the raider up for fresh human meat to store. I feel we can now kill off these camels thanks to the meat fridge. While minding our own business a person named Kim crash lands but at the same time this happens a raid event starts. Not sure how something like this can happen. We now cut to the main course of the battle. The good old hit and run tactic. Looks like we got a pig man as our opponent gonna be eating pork tonight.
he never stood a chance against us. Time to pillage the loot and chop up that pork. I can already smell that tasty bacon. Not soon after committing this heinous act Randy sends me high quality meal packs. Not sure what kind of mixed messages Randy is giving me but seems to me he rewards me for doing things like this. Next morning Snow finishes the hydroponics research letting me now grow crops in this wasteland we call home. I next choose the toxifier generator to learn. In the dead of night we cut up the last human bodies as to hide ourselves from Randy's prying eyes. Our first fellow traders stop by prompting me to see all the wares they have for sale. I strike a deal selling of junk I don't need and buy a couple of things. A new stranger crash lands on my property so we later steal whatever they own. In my progress of making the new base layout snow catches a random flu. It's a good thing we start off with 30 glitter world meds or else we would have lost her. After a few days Snow has a strange dream about the monolith outside the house who knows what dark secrets that thing holds. For now it's best to hold off till we're well geared. Another day another raid Randy sends over seeing this is a good chance for some free human meat. Nothing beats killing boredom than killing. Bandits trying to steal your stuff. Due to not having much to do but research I send Snow over to start breaking the broken down mech. The next day a dark scholar drops by our home. Given my past experience with these people I choose to the man leave but soon see he is slowly freezing to death giving a good opportunity to kill him without having to lay a hand on him. Just look at him go not aware he is slowly killing himself just being here, and while this man has 10 simple meals ready for me to steal. Here is a clip of him dying to frostbite. We now cut back to snow finally breaking open the mech. It's a good thing there's nothing to burn around in the sea ice biome. While snow is relaxing playing iron horseshoes some wild rabid bunnies choose to attack her out in the middle of nowhere. Not sure what in the world gave these animals the idea to come to sea ice. Seeing I can't take on these fast critters I just lock the doors up and wait them out till they starve to death. Since I have nothing to do we learn the mech technology in order to get that research going. With many days passing by the rabid bunny falls asleep giving me the chance to kill it while it's sleeping. Must have got lucky here due to it taking only one shot to kill. I'm here minding my own when a random meteorite of jade falls from the sky, I have to save that for someone who is better mining than snow. Don't want the resource to go waste with zero mining. With nothing to do around the base a royal is asking for a forced weather around the base to test out their new machine. We go for the masterwork sculpture. The next day I was looking over the research tab when a supply pod lands on my doorstep. Looks to me like Randy sent over his used slice caps to me thinking I would appreciate his trash headwear. Well I don't have a choice in the matter so hopefully I can scam someone else to buying them. While Snow was studying back home another raid attack occurs from a man named Korat. This is the first battle with another ranged unit it will not really pose much of a issue in the end. And down goes the bandit ready to become Snow's next meal. The following night strangers keep falling out of the sky onto my base. Looks to me like a lost cuz so I leave them to die off. Next up a random wanderer comes by wanting to join the shabby shack we call home. I say what the heck let them join just to see what they got in terms of stats. I then trigger the requirements to name the colony and base. We go with the name outpost reach not really sure why I choose this but couldn't think of a better name at the time and then name the colony frost legion. Not long after our new roommate shows up on other raid events starts this being a random shambler corpse though we just ignore it at the end seeing it doesn't do much unless you attack it. After a day passes by I see it fit to no longer keep our new roommate around choosing to kick him out of the colony. My reason for this is due to keeping as much food as I can for snow to stockpile just having another mouth to feed will cost us everything. I forgot to mention that we badly injured a wild polar bear for easy meat. You can see him slowly bleeding out in the background. Why take the time and effort to kill him when one can have bleed do the all work? With little to do around the base we command snow to start smelting down all metal slag around the base. Every piece of junk like this has some value in a barren wasteland. On the 7th of December we use up our cloth to make a nice sofa chair for snow to sit on. 
it sure beats having to sit on a plain wooden chair all day. The next morning we are blessed by the Rimworld gods with a huge chunk of raw metal ore. Well would you look at that some bandit wants to steal what I own again. Looks like Hunter here is looking to fight me today. We cut away to the fight. Same thing as always running around and kiting the raider till they bleed out. I feel Snow's aim is getting better by the day with shots like these. Okay guys that's gonna do it for today's new RimWorld video. If you like what you have seen feel free to hit the like or follow button down below. Any comments are also appreciated. Till next time this is Mr. Retro Bread signing off. Goodbye.